Welcome to this Windows and Computer Channel. And of course, one thing that happens today is we are May 1st, 2019. And you've guessed it, this version of Windows is called a May 2019 update. And so what are the things that we know about uh, the release date? I get a lot of people asking me, uh, what's the release date? We don't really know. But we know that there is a big possibility that it will be released later this month, probably late in the month. And the reason why, well, you want to test it out real well before it's actually released. So some of you have been asking um, if you, um, if you know, if we, we knew of any big problems with the Windows 10 May 2019 update. Um, the last problems that we heard about were the problems of the um, May 2019 update install that didn't go well when you had an external SD card reader or a USB card reader or a uh, USB hard drive. I've seen some people say that it apparently might be a problem also with internal drives, but I've seen the blog post seems to point out mostly at external drive, but it could be a fact of, um, you know, having bad associations with drive letters. This is kind of not of a new problem in one, in, in a sense. Um, over the years, installing Windows as a tech guy, uh, Windows 7, for example, there were often times when there was some kind of mix-up in the drive letters. For some reason, Windows has always been a little finicky about you know, how it's going to work when there's multiple drives. And I end up, you know, at one point when people have drives that, um, you know, contain only data and, and um, you know, documents and photos, I always end up, like, telling them, you know what, um, let's unplug all of your extra drives. Keep only the main drive that will be the C drive for Windows 10 and then update. And we'll plug them back after the update goes through. Also, you know, there's another thing in Windows that has always been kind of a little of a problem, if you want. When you install Windows, and I've always done that over the years, when you installed Windows 7 and Windows XP, and I mean, from uh, the, uh, when I started doing the tech jobs, um, I was actually installing Windows 98 and Windows Millennium, and, uh, and Windows 2000, and basically um, all USB external devices need to be removed from the computer um, it's best practice if you actually install a Windows 10 and uh, some of you ask you know any precautions if I do a clean install of a main 2019 update I would give them you know the the general term rule of remove everything that's plugged from your USB ports keep the minimum you know of course if you have a USB driven you know keyboard or a uh, wireless mouse of course, or a mouse anyways, um, of course, you'll keep that because you need your mouse. Although it's not a requirement, you can actually install Windows without a mouse. But, um, you know, any extra stuff, printers, drives, whatever other devices you have. And, you know, plug them in back one at a time once it's um, done and it's a working operating system. It will kind of remove the risk of having issues within uh, Windows. Apart from that, when we look at the problems, I've been looking at blog posts from uh, release preview rings, blog posts from a lot of insiders and testers. There, um, you know, of course there are a certain number because somebody told me the other day, well, you're wrong, there's tons of problems. We always gotta be careful with that because one of the big th things about thinking there's tons of problems is remember that there are billions of configurations of Windows out there and that there's a very small percentage that have very unique glitches and problems related to very specific machine related hardware and that has always been the case for Windows it's always been the case that there is a certain number of machines that are always a little complex sometimes it's a hardware glitch on the machine that people don't know of you know hardware isn't perfect uh, there are times when there are some problems with motherboards or, you know, different devices. 
and it creates weird phenomena inside windows it creates weird bugs that you're like what the hell is that and um, <clears throat> then you change something and yeah, it's okay now so yes the list of problems is big because that is the windows install problems that have always been like that the problem is is not to check out the number of problems but rather the number of people for each specific issues and that's where you see that a lot of the blog posts a lot of the feedback hub posts are you know oh i got this problem with that and i've got a blue dot somewhere yeah you're pretty much the only one having that but for a lot of you know for for some known reasons of microsoft not always handling things correctly but for also um, way you know ways that people think about Windows and the products, um, you know it's also the fact that there's uh, a certain number of people that think well you know Windows 10 is horrible, and uh, well it's not worse than Windows 7, it actually is and many tests better in performance than Windows 7 and as stable if not more than Windows 7 so uh, but you know there's always a certain number of people that are always uh, just kind of you know hitting on the Windows um, fault for a lot of things uh, not considering that there's a lot of people that don't want to pay and you know I've noticed one thing as a tech guy when you do things on your own and you're not really sure what you're doing you might run into problems, and the problems might be you, not Windows. You know, it's a very delicate situation here, and it's always complicated. So we'll have it sometime this month, and uh, it will once again be an optional download. You'll see it appear, and it's going to ask you if you want to download and install, or you can stay away from it and not do anything, which is, I think, a good idea if you wish to stay on you know whatever version you have because it works well and that I think Microsoft is actually doing something good in letting people decide when they want to install a feature update uh, or if they want the feature update that's coming up because not everybody wants it if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching